get into grass, don't you? And it just goes mad, and everyone's like, right, let's just do everything as quickly as we can. See if we can smash the whole season out in the first week. Well, we actually had a 970 order, and then I went away and hauled these. There are a couple of class 970s around now, and they're an absolute waste of time. Typically here in the west of Ireland, it's a small farm, 15, 20, 25, 30 acres. She was ordered at the start of the season and uh, got a phone call and goes, I've ordered a harvester. I says, I don't wish her we'd order one. For it. Oh, it changed her to 980. I was like, right, that looks good. You know, when I looked at it, you're like, woo, cheeker, look at the speed we're going. <laughs> Thing of the past, the could drop in trailers. We tried the side filling, and uh, my brother got sick of the boys sitting beside them, you know, young fellas, and, and they're not in the right place. They were arguing over which weight block was going on, which mass of these lads, because they're all arguing over who's the shiniest. There's only one tractor to buy, and it's a pain, you know. The job doesn't pay well enough to buy new tractors. Yeah, there's only one reason why you've not got a fame, and that's because you've not got enough money in the bank to buy it. I'm sort of onto the classics now. The old John Deere's and the old New Hollands and the old Masses. Really old stuff. I like to buy second-hand, good, clean second-hand tractors. I go, I, I look at that stuff and go, oh, I love a driving that, you know. A high art hero, as I would say. a job that you can travel pretty much around the world with. It's like a disease, I suppose. It's hard to get away from it, you know. Some of the places I've been, people may never get the opportunity to go, and I've been there and been paid for it. 